Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. This is Forever Slow Stroke in the Podcast, episode 44. And it's your boy, your man. You already know me, Eon, son. And I got to tell you this before we get started. I am not a financial advisor, but I have some gems for you, right? So please understand that everything associated with Forever Slow Stroking is for entertainment educational purposes only. And if you need the help that of a financial advisor, just seek one, right? I'm sure you could readily attain one. Son, outside of that, um, support the channel by simply clicking that like button followed by the subscribe button, right? And utilize the links in the description to get $25 in Bitcoin on Voyager, two free shares on Robinhood, you get four free shares on Weeble, and then also, if you don't want none of that, you could get $25 for signing up to Crypto.com using my link, and Crypto.com is an app, that's just what it's called, right? Son, so this episode, what you need to know, so the market took a dip, right? I peeped this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you peeped this as well, so the market took a dip following the news you know, about the potential capital gains tax rate increase, right? And I just want the world to understand how this all works. So to keep it simple, first, um, capital gains tax, this only applies to people who make over a million dollars per year or more, right? So for a lot of a lot of regular retail, you know, traders and investors, this really doesn't apply. But these are the people who it applies to, and most people are selling out of their position, which is fine, but most people don't understand why they're even selling. You don't make a milli, you see what I'm saying, son? If you don't make a milli, it's like, dang, you got to think, why am I selling? But for the big dogs out there that are selling, this creates a decent buying opportunities. Um, it's like, how can they create a buying opportunity if they're selling, son? Because if the big dogs are selling, that means that the retail traders can get in for a cheaper price, right? So it kind of uh, puts you at a state where, you know, stocks are undervalued. And this is the opportunity where you can get in. Um, I wouldn't say, don't try to get in on dips, but I would get in on pullbacks, right? So, because basically sometimes a dip may not be um, cheap enough. A stock can dip, you know, 1%, but... If it pulls back 5%, I'd rather get in on a pullback because on a pullback, it's more consolidation um, associated with it versus a dip. It's just, it may come down just a little bit, go back up, but then it could easily turn around and go another direction. So be mindful of that. Um, second, there are two main types of capital gains, right? There's short term and long term. Short term capital gains is when a position is held for less than a year and this is the tax increase that Biden is talking about. He's not talking about, you know, just raising all capital gains tax, right? He's talking about raising the capital gains um, tax for short term, you know what I'm saying? So for these positions that people hold under a year, because you make a lot of money, you know, on short term investments. Um, but the long term capital gains is anything, any position that you hold for greater than a year and a day. So you have to hold it um, 360 six days, not 365 days. So you have to hold it a year and a day. And the tax rate for this is um, between zero and 20%. And this pretty much stays the same. Um, and most people will not sell what they plan to keep long term if the tax bill goes through because, you know, it just makes sense. Keep holding for over a year. So that way this tax bill doesn't even affect you. Even if you are a millionaire, even if you make a million, not a millionaire, but if you make a million, you know, per year, this will not affect you. Um, And then next, I just want to say this. Um, you do not have to sell. Just hold. I mean, especially if your portfolio is composed of valid companies. And I talked to you many, 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 many months, literally about a year ago about valid companies. But there are other ways to um bring tax relief, you know, to your life. But those are some things that I could teach and much more, you know what I'm saying, within the Forever Slow Stroke and LLC Wealth Creation community, right? Or if you don't really want to, you know what I'm saying, join the group. You know, a lot of people have their own, you know, trading groups. A lot of people have these investment groups, uh, Forex, all that other stuff. But, you know, with Forever Slow Stroke, we have everything. We have that and much more, right? 
So if you don't want to join that and you just want some other gem son, you could come see us for ever slow stroking event trading in Miami for only fifty dollars. And you get three events for fifty dollars, right? You get the the trading class where I'm literally dropping my gems. Like I'm not giving you some BS, you know, watered down trading course. Nah, I'm giving you things that people really need to know and things that people desire. I'm giving you that. Next, I'm giving you a wealth seminar. And then it's gonna be a little after party, you know me. It's gonna be an after party with a live DJ. Hookah will be available um, at every event. And I think it's going to be really nice. So, you know, if you're interested, go to foreverslowstroking.com, select events, and go ahead and buy yourself a little ticket on Eventbrite, son. But, um, you know, following that, I do want to go ahead and give you my progress and then the hidden gem. But while I pull up that stuff, son, hustle class, Jermaine. Jermaine's Hustle Class. Make sure y'all tune into that. Um, you could just get that on Apple Podcasts or any other streaming platform. I don't think he's on YouTube, but you could catch that on any streaming platform. Jermaine is valid. His stuff is good. His content is clear. I like I like to hear uh, Jermaine's podcast. And Jermaine is a member of Forever Slow Stroke and LLC. So, so for the week ending April 23rd, 2021. 130% profit on Wayfair, 10% loss on FNV, 53% profit on Microvision, 70 cent, 70% profit um, on Snap, 100% profit SRNE, 100% profit um, CCIV, that's a 100% profit on Kodak, 70% profit on JNUG, and then there was another 70% profit on Snap. Oh, wait, no. There wasn't another 70% profit on Snap because I already said that. I bet. Son, so that was my progress for the week. As you can tell, I had a pretty successful week, and I have some new strategies that I've been testing out. And so far, they proved to work very nicely, and I will be teaching my... I've already taught my group the strategies, but I need to um, teach them the timing to use them, right? So we're getting into that. Um, so the hidden gem. Many companies are reporting this week, right? So I'll be watching. These are the ones that I'll be watching. Tesla, Microsoft, Shopify. Um, those are like the the top ones. There are a few more. Also, um, UPS. There are a few more. But I'd say be careful because there's a lot of news dropping this week. You know, a lot of Fed news. There's a lot of folders coming out. It's a lot of information coming out this week. Actually, is UPS for... Um, coming out this week? I don't know. I feel like UPS just reported. But anyway, a lot of news is dropping this week, right, son? So, you know me. I'm just here to, you know, give y'all the content, give y'all the gems, give y'all the information, and y'all do what y'all want with it, right? But I had to clear up this whole, you know, whole cloud of the the tax increase. Son, this is for Episode Stroking. I'm Eon, but I gotta go. Thanks. Peace. Oof.